What's up, everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. Lamborghini Huracan Technica. This is, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I think the final version of the Lamborghini Huracan that's been released. Am I right in saying that? People in the comments. Am I right in saying that this is the last one? I think there probably may be like one more of these, but this is, by the looks of things, it's like the Hurricane STO, but it's kind of dialed down to like the more consumer uh, person, you know, instead of like people that just want a race car for their own. Uh, very, very cool car. I like l literally everything about this. I love the looks of it. I think it, it makes the, the standard Hurricane look so ancient because of the way this is built. Like, there's so many creases and just good angles on this car. I really, really like this, this very good technique. It also sounds a little bit better in this game, I think. Someone in the comments on one of my videos said that this has, I think, the same exhaust setup or very similar exhaust setup to the STO. That's why it sounds like this and it doesn't sound the same as the regular Huracan or the EVO or whatever. So, yeah. This, like I said, probably being the last version of the Huracan or the final version of the Huracan. Um, yeah, they kind of went all out with it. The cool thing about this car is it's also only rear-wheel drive. It's not all-wheel drive like all of the other Hurricanes. There's, there's only a couple of these that have been made, uh, like actual Hurricanes, um, since whenever the first one came out. When did the first one come out? It's like 20... Is it 2013? 2011? I don't even remember, to be honest with you. It's so long ago. It's so long ago that this Hurricane came out is actually insane. 2012... 2014. We have this Hurricane in the game. That's insane! That is crazy! And to think that even the Aventador came out like, or it was revealed or is like, shown off in like 2011 or something like that, the, the Aventador needed a replacement, which of course now it got one, but the Hurricane is very old as well, so I think that also will end up getting a replacement very, very soon. Um, yeah, like I said, this one being the final one, rear wheel drive, I like the wheels, I like everything about this guy to be honest with you. I think what we could do with it since Lamborghini is... Why is he... Oh, it's not good. Yet. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. With this car, obviously I checked it out completely stock. So uh, I'm not going to be driving around like that. However, I do want to modify this thing and change, to, change a couple of things on it. Uh, the main and most important thing I think this car is going to be good for is to slide around with and just enjoy its mid engine -ness. Um So that's what I'm going to do for today's video. I'm going to try and enjoy this mid engine ness of this car. And hopefully we can try and drive it. I also really want to slam this this thing. I want to get it to be really, really low. So let's uh, let's try and do that and see what that's like. I'm going to keep everything pretty much the same on this car. In terms of visual changes. Because I don't think we can change much visually with this car regardless. But I want to put the, uh, the drift suspension on it. So we have the little front lip and the front of the counters which look disgusting. Then we have the disgusting Forza arrow. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, engine stops available for it. Six and a half liter V12, racing V12, we already know those. We can now, of course, all-wheel drive swap this thing, but I'm not going to. We can twin-turbo this. Twin-turbo Hurricanes, we all know, are absolutely ridiculous guys. But do I want to do it with it to this car? I feel like I don't really want it, to be honest with you. It's just, it's a car that, that should be NA. It's a car that should be NA. The one thing that now I think is going to change with the replacement of this car, I don't think it's going to be NA anymore. I think it's going to be, first of all, assisted by some sort of hybrid system. It just is going to happen. There's, there's no way around that. It, it just is going to happen. Oh, this looks good, low. This looks really, really good, Lord. I kind of want to bring this thing on one of my maps as well to lower it even more. There's a reason why I put these tires on it as well. is to get it to be even lower than, than normal. Like, the Hurricane, a lot of the Hurricane is, is about looks, so... It already like revs really high, but see that sounds that, that exhaust just doesn't sound good. I'm not even gonna put that on. It just makes it so much worse. 776 horsepower again, mid-engine rear-wheel drive. This should drive spectacularly, even with these tires that I just slapped on this thing. But I feel like this should be such a fun car to enjoy. It's it's something similar that we can compare to like the 296 GTB that they added into the game. And I ended up sliding that thing around, and that looked also quite cool, but this one has a lot more going for it. Um, yeah, I'm going to change a couple things here, and I'll be right back. I generally feel that this thing... Jesus! 
Jesus, it rests like nine and a half thousand. I generally feel that this thing is gonna be such a joy to drive. These tires are definitely not gonna be the best to, to slide around with, but. Oh, they're so nice. This thing is so nice to drive. I need to bring it down the mountain, but I need to like kind of enjoy it. I don't really want to like drive it quick down the mountain. But at the same time, I want to try and go a little sideways for some of the corners and enjoy like oversteering and stuff like that. This is like, oh man, I like this already. Like there's not much that I can really say about it yet, but I really like this already. Oh, yes. Wait, is this new? I didn't see this. What? I didn't see that before. That I was here, like, the other day. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Slow down, and then... Well, into the corner. It's so well balanced. Yeah, the, the only thing about it is it actually understeers a little bit because it has these tires on it, but... Better than that, if you know where your grip level is, you can throw it aside with and just... And just drive it. Just with your throttle all the way around the corner. <laughs> this is just like the 296. Except the sounds so much better. It's very quick as well. Jesus. I'm not here to try and do any sort of proper drifting or anything with it. I'm just here to... Like I said, enjoy driving this thing. I really need a lot of angle with it. It's clean. It is so clean. Just sending it sideways like this. High speed into the corners. <laughs> it's so controllable as well. A little deeper into the corner, all the way in third, flat out. <laughs> My god. How, it's so hard to like spin this out, what the hell? So much control over it. Going sideways very quickly is actually so fun. I nev never expected these tires to be like this. I expected it to be a lot more slippery, but... You can drive it normally, or you can slide it. Just throw it into the corner and catch it, and just drive it on a straight line again. <laughs> it's so easy! This has to be one of the easiest cars to drive in this game. This is the easiest car to drive out of this car pack. Can you like spin this out even? Oh, I'm gonna try and throw this like massive angle on it and see. Even with the handbrake, man, the front end is just so light and, and lovely. It's just it's so perfect. Alright, let's try and push the back end out a lot more. Not really, man. Not really. That back end is so nice. It just 
it comes back around and then there it is <laughs> it is so similar to the 296 that we've driven recently so so similar to it I mean it's it's basically built the same right it, it's basically built to be mid-engine rear-wheel drive with a lot of power and that's why they're they're very similar cars except this is NA and it sounds so much better and generally with these tires it feels like it is probably the easiest car to drive Oh, that was close. Almost sent it fully off. It is so nice to drive. It feels so smooth and so easy to control. Right, I'm going to bring it over to one of my maps and I want to lower it even more. And see if I, uh, if I can get this. Uh, look, uh, we can probably do this one, right? Locker's free room in the evening. I don't know how it's going to look like in the evening, but I feel like there's going to be like a lot of reflections and all that, so I kind of want to try it in the evening. Right. Come on. It's going to lower it a, a bit more as well. <sighs> I can already tell. It's going to put such a good... Uh, or it's going to make such a great thumbnail. Oh my god, that's clean. That is super, super clean. Oh my god, that looks so good. I'll try and point myself this way. Towards the sun. Slight steering input. I think it steered my car a little bit more. Oh my god. How clean does that look? <laughs> it's just the perfect height. That fitment is so crazy on it. Wow. Okay, we'll point it this way so it looks like it's more in the middle. Okay, this has to be the thumbnail. That fitment is mental. Those wheels look really good. Even the reflection and everything on the ground. That looks so clean. Whoopsies. That looks super, super clean. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely uh, knew that this was going to be really, really cool, though. As soon as I brought it onto this map, I knew for a fact that it was going to be sick. What's it look like with a rolling shot, though? I'm going to bring it up on the highway. Just have a quick look. Yeah, if you want to play any of these maps that I've created, feel free to do so. Uh, I'm going the wrong way here, actually. I should be going... Never mind. I went, I went onto the wrong... The wrong off-ramp. It's fine. Let's go up here. Yeah, if you want to play any of these maps, I've made a full video on them, or you can just search my, my gamer tag when you're looking for these maps. It's just called Low Cars. Because it, I changed the gravity of the map, so it presses down the cars even more, so it's very, it's, they're all, all these maps that I've created are all very, very good for taking pictures of cars. Alright, what's it look like? In motion. Zoom this in. Really clean. Really, really clean. That fitment is so, so spot on with it. That is beautiful. Even the color though, I absolutely love the color on this car. That is genuinely beautiful. Wow. Okay, everyone. Well, that's going to be it for the Hurricane Technica. Not really much to say about this thing. Um, it's just it's just not going to be as competitive as some of the other cars, obviously, that we've featured in some of the videos. But, uh, yeah. I think it's beautiful. It drives really nicely. And, of course, it looks phenomenal. I, I've, this is, like, definitely the best V10 Lamborghini, in my opinion, that they've, that they've released. Best looking, anyway, I'll tell you that. Um, they had the Gallardo and a bunch of other Hurricanes and stuff like that, but... This is still, I think, my favorite. Even the Sesto Elemento, I mean, like, that's... Eh, it, it's a bit bare bones, you know? Like, it, it's cool, but, like, it's a bit bare bones. But if you want a car, like, a day-to-day -day car, like, a car that you could you could use all the time and it looks unreal, I think this is very, very cool. Because it has a lot of design features from, like, uh, a bunch of the other Lamborghinis that they ended up releasing, you know, the Sian and, and stuff like that with the 
the different uh, different grills and all that sort of stuff. It just it just is such a good looking car. This I can. And I love the two tone as well. I love that the color and the roof don't match. I, I really like the. I'm guessing it's a carbon roof, but it just looks so much better. The same with the back. Uh, it, just, it just looks good in general. It's just a very very pretty car. All right. Well, like I said, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I think by the time this video goes out, because it's probably going to be the last video of the batch of videos that I'm going to end up recording, I think I should be home from my holidays now uh, within the next day or two. So we can try and come back and make some more more current videos since uh, I know some of these ones are, are a little bit old. I know that this car, as I'm uploading this video, right now, as I'm making it, it's fresh like these cars have only come out like maybe like a few days but of course for you guys it's been like a few weeks because i'm trying to try to spread my videos out you know so i can uh, so i can have a bunch of videos out on the channel whilst i'm gone on holiday but i should be back uh within a couple days so yeah anyway that's it thank you for watching i'll see you guys very soon goodbye